are some practice synthesis problems for benzene additions. So we've got one, two, three, turn benzene from this into, there should still be a benzene, we're not going to make you not make benzene. And then, so this to this, this to this, and this to this. So if you want to give them a try, pause the video. If not, I'm going to go through them now. Okay, so let's start with the first one. This was actually a question, your synthesis from your first exam this semester. Now, we see what we need to do is we need to add one, two, three carbons on the left side and one, two carbons on the right side. And the only reactions we have to use that add carbons are those friedel crafts acylation and alkylation reactions, the ones where you have chlorine or a halogen on a carbon chain, and then you have the option of either just doing the carbon chain or the one with the double bond O. And what I was saying before is you always want to use the reaction with the double bond O. So it doesn't matter which one you add first, let's say I add the one on the right first. So that first step, what I was describing is the one where it's double bond O, chlorine, and now I need to add however many carbons I want to add. I want to add one, two, three, so this is carbon one with the double bond O, two, and three. And then under the arrow goes AlCl3. Now I'm going to give myself a little more space so we can draw this nice and easy. So we want to get to one, two, one, two, three, benzene. So after that first step, what I would be left with is a benzene ring with three carbons, one, two, three, and this carbon would have a double bond O. And I'm just putting this here so it matches up with the answer. Technically, this could be added to any of those carbons, but then it's just rotating the ring to make it look like this anyway. So I'm making it easier to visualize. I want it there. Now, I have to ask the question, what is the position of the other group relative to this group? So this is the group I just added, and if I look, this is carbon one, two, three. They are one, two, three apart. That means they are meta to each other which means whatever I added first had to direct the other group to the meta position. And this is an important thing to remember when you're doing these syntheses. This reaction that allows you to add carbon chains can either be a meta or a para ortho director, depending on what you leave it as. In this first step, I added this group. And now if I want to turn it into just this carbon chain, I can use zinc mercury and now it's there. But this, just a carbon chain, is an ortho para director which means it would direct either here or here, not there. But if I leave it as the carbonyl for now, that double bond O, that is a meta director. So what I want to do is keep that double bond O there for now and use this reaction again to add these two carbons on the right. So this time I want to add two carbons, so I'm going to draw the same thing, double bond O, Cl, but here is one carbon, two carbons, one, two. And now that will give me a ring that looks like one, two, three, double bond O there, one, two, double bond O there, and now we just need a reaction that gets rid of those two double bond O's, and that is zinc mercury with HCl. So ZnHg with HCl. Okay? So that's how you would do the first synthesis. Now let's look at the second one. The second one's a little trickier, but it's actually the same question. So let's change that. So one, two, three, one, two. So there we go, now it's different. Um, yep, now it's different. So we're gonna go through the same exact thought process that we did, as we did for the last one. I need to add two separate carbon chains, one that is three carbons, one, two, three, a different carbon chain that's one, two, and we know the reaction we use to add carbons is that carbonyl with the Cl and the carbon chain on it with AlCl3. So again, I'm gonna just pick one of these two to add, but notice something, this time these two groups are para, which means the order of events are gonna be different from what I was doing for the first synthesis. Meaning, um, no, I mean, so, <clears throat> So starting out, what I want to do is I'm going to add one of those two carbon chains. Let's add the one on the left again. So over the arrow, I'm going to have the three carbons I want to add, one, two, three, and on the end, it's getting attached a carbonyl and a Cl with AlCl3 under the arrow. And so I have this, and what that will add is it'll add this three carbon chain, and I'm going to make it match up with the drawing I'm trying to make. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, double bond O, 
and then the rest of the benzene. So I have this. Now I want to turn this into that. And notice the two carbon groups are one, two, three, four apart. They're para to each other, which means I need this, if I added that first, to direct this in the para position. But we saw with the first sentence, well, this is a uh, meta director. We want it to be para and ortho directing, so we have to do that zinc mercury step next. So Zn Hg with HCl. And now we have just the straight carbon chain. One, two, three, benzene. So I have this. And now I can add this group to the power position. So I'm going to use in my next step, I want to add two carbons, so one, two, one, two, and then a double bond O with a chlorine on it on one of those ends, AlCl3. And that will add the second group to the power position because this is an ortho para director. And we always add para first. Um, so I have this, and now I have one, two, and a double bond O right there. And now if I want to get this where there's no double bond O, I just have to use the zinc mercury reaction again. So one last step. Zn, Hg with HCl. And that will finish this synthesis. Now to the final one, which I intend to be the most challenging, but just building off of what we've done so far. For the last practice problem, before you even start drawing things over the arrow, the first thing you should do is look at the, whatever is on the benzene and ask what are their positions relative to each other and how do these groups direct. So let's start with the bromine. The bromine, if we look at our list, is a weak electron withdrawing group, but it still directs ortho para, which means it would direct either here, here, or here. Now, since this spot is empty, we know that the bromine most likely was not the thing that directed, uh, because we would always add to the para position first. So the bromine was probably not added as the first thing, because it wasn't the thing doing the directing. It needs to be there if it wants to direct. If I look at this carbonyl carbon over here, well, this directs meta, which would be, so, let's, so this carbonyl here is a meta director, and it directs here and here. Both of those spots are empty, so he probably was added one, in one of the last steps as well. Whether it was before or after the bromine, we're not sure yet. But at the very least, we can say he was not the first thing added because it would have directed the other groups here or here. Finally, look, we look at this. Now, when you see just a carbon chain, you have to think about two things. The first thing is what it's doing right now. As a carbon chain, it directs ortho para, which means it would direct either here, here, so the two ortho positions, or here para. And while we have a group that's in the para position, if the ortho positions are empty, well, it would always add to the para position first anyway, so that's fine. Most likely, this existed before this was added to the ring, because then this could direct here. But, so, there's, so right now, as a carbon chain, this directs ortho para. But you have to remember, before it was a carbon chain, it could have been a carbon chain with a double bond O, and all you did was zinc mercury, which means it can also direct meta. And if we look at it from that perspective, well, here's the carbon, one, two, three, here's the meta position. So if this was a carbonyl, it could have directed the bromine as well. For that reason, this was most likely the group you added first, because the second it's on the ring, it can start pushing everything to the right spot when we add them. So whenever you approach a benzene synthesis reaction uh, uh, question where you have multiple groups on the ring, always ask who directs where and think about how it can direct and where are the other groups relative to where that thing can direct. This is the only group that has the potential to direct both, or, uh, both para to get this on and meta to get this on if it was a double bond O first. So now let's go about doing this and let's, let's go about drawing out the synthesis. So in my first step, since I said this has to be added first, I'm going to add it first. So I'm going to do a carbonyl, the carbonyl method because we never want to just do a carbon chain with chlorine on it. And I'm adding one, two, three carbon. So one, two, three. And that will give me a benzene that has 
one, two, three. And on the carbon closest, that's where the double bond O is. Now I have to look at this and say, well, what group should I add next? Well, right now, this is a meta director. And if I did zinc mercury, it would be a para director, it would direct here. Now, if I want this to direct meta first, I don't want to get rid of the carbonyl. Because if I did, and I directed para here, well, that would get this on, but then how am I getting the bromine? This is a meta director, this is an ortho para director, which means you would only add here or here. We want the bromine here. So I know I need to add my bromine in the next step. So Br2, FeBr3. And that's going to add the bromine to the meta position, one, two, three away. So the bromine will be added to the spot we want it to be added. And now I have carbonyl still there with the three carbons and a bromine here. So I'm almost done because now all I have to do is get this group over here added. Now, since this is in the power position and I need this to be my director, I am going to use zinc mercury first, turn this back into just a carbon chain, or turn this into just a carbon chain, zinc, mercury, HCl, and now I have a benzene ring with this carbon chain with no carbonyl on it, the bromine up here, and now I'm at my last step because all I have to do is add this group with the carbonyl, so I'm just going to use, I need to add one, two carbons, so one, two, double bond O and Cl with FeCl3. Okay. And so I forgot to write that over here. Fe, or, so one point to make is AlCl3 versus FeCl3. For both of these reactions, they have the same purpose. So it doesn't really matter if you use them interchangeably. Technically, we use the aluminum Cl for the friedel crafts reactions and the Fe halogen 3 for the, um, the halogenation reactions, but they're actually technically interchangeable. So it's okay if you mess that up. I don't think you would lose points for that. Regardless, this is the synthesis for that last practice problem.